what we were doing because the why was just for fame and the why was just for money so if you don't have a good foundation no matter what it's going to crumble and that's why clarity and routine and having a healthy lifestyle and having a healthy mental lifestyle is very very important every single day it's a fire that you have to put out every single day in business and entrepreneurship it's a letdown just got pulled over by the policia on the moto good morning guys good morning good morning keeping up on routine baby keeping up on routine um I'm a little late today, not that I was slacking or anything, but I'm late starting my daily document of what I'm building. I don't know, we don't even have a name for this yet. So I'm transferring footage from one hard drive to another storage hard drive. And uh, Miss Aniti, the cleaning lady just came, so I had to let her up, tell her what I need for um, as far as cleaning for today and laundry and uh, I'm headed to the gym right now and uh, then I'll be headed to the Bahia so I can um, get some shots up and then also get my walk in or whatever so I can clear my mind for what you know what's to come it is 9 12 so this morning, the reason why I'm late, because this morning I was putting out fires, right? And what I want to mention about anyone to, what I want to mention to anyone that has ambitions of starting a business, what I want to mention is your temperament. If you have bad nerves, business is going to be a hard sport for you because every single day it's a fire that you have to put out every single day in business and entrepreneurship it's a letdown and you cannot get so low where you get in the dumps but then when good things happen and you make a lot of money you do something successful uh you reach your goal you can't also get too high right you have to have a, a mid tier uh, disposition about yourself because it's going to be highs and it's going to be lows and it's going to be even kill right so all my entrepreneurs that want to take over the world work on your disposition right away like when things happen high don't get too high when things happen low don't get too low just have a, an even scale when things go bad okay let's figure that out right when things go good okay we know that this is going good but we know that this is not going to go good forever and it's a, going to be a problem right some problem is going to happen so i just wanted to mention that because as i'm putting out fires uh, yesterday of course i mentioned i missed my meeting i could have put myself in the dumps and like man damn yo what's gonna you know but I did it, okay, let's figure that out, let's solve that problem, and let's set another meeting and explain why that happened, or whatever, and move forward. Um, put the fires I had since seven in the morning, trying to put those out, let's talk about it, and you know, so, that's one thing in entrepreneurship and in business, you guys wanna be entrepreneurs, this is going to happen to you, you know, putting out fires, high, low, the highs, lows. You just have to continue to have a clear mind. And that's why clarity and routine and having a healthy lifestyle and having a healthy mental lifestyle is very, very important because you can think through these certain things, right? That clarity you need because you will be able to think through these certain situations and make uh, the best decision for you and for the business but also if it's a customer problem you make the best uh solution for the customer
Okay, so I'm going to head out. As of right now, I have not, because it's been such a crazy day, I have not been able to get any deep work in. And um, doesn't make any sense for me to continue going right now because for one, I have two meetings later. So I need to get out, get back. But deep work is so important. Whether it be an hour, whether it be two hours of deep work is, man, you really gotta be focused. But um, I love to get at least a good hour in the morning time. That's why I come so early because then I can get a lot of good deep work in but that's not going to happen right now. So it's okay that it's not going to happen and I can remove myself from an environment and come back to it. Just got pulled over by the policia on the moto, as you just seen in the clip. Um, I did not think I was going to get shot and killed by the policia. It's definitely a possibility in the United States for that to happen. I did not feel scared at any point to be honest with you i know i'm here doing the right thing so i did not have any of the anxiety that i would have when a police officer pulls me over in the states didn't have it um the reason why we got pulled over is because it's certain parts of the city that you can't ride with two males on a moto reason being is like in this area right here let's just look very wealthy area very wealthy neighborhood back in when Colombia was very dangerous two guys on a moto could mean trouble one guy driving one guy robbing or one guy doing an assassination so in certain parts of the city you cannot have two men on a moto and for some reason he went away that two guys could not be on the moto so policia identified it and they pulled us over they looked at our looked through my bag and looked through his you know ran his license and uh let us go. We just had to go a different way. Today, I wanna to talk about uh, foundation, right? So if you don't have a good foundation, no matter what, it's going to crumble. So that's why we started with the origin story because that's the foundation, right? Um, I wanna tell a quick story real fast about my first real business venture and that was this independent record label named Dose Storm Records and what I've learned about business is business is solving a problem I did not know that when I first started many of my businesses in the beginning and that's why I'm sharing these experiences because I'm solving my own problem and helping people get to 
their destinations faster than I got to mine. So I started this independent record label and if everybody knows about rap and hip hop and, and all of that, um, I would say it's not much integrity in that realm, right? People will do anything to get on to do to become a rapper. At the time, living your raps was a huge thing. If you said you were a shooter, you had to be a shooter. If you said that you sold drugs, you had to be selling drugs. You were active, right? And that was a badge of honor to be in that realm. Yo, he's real. Yeah, he shot a couple people. Or he's real. Yeah, he got money. He, you know, he still he sell weight or whatever. And that's the world that I wanted to get into after my basketball career. I didn't think I had any other choices. So I want to go into why this never would, would have worked at all. Even though we had some success with a campaign that brought in $30,000 in one month from an idea that I had. And this idea was to make a diss track about a football player that used to play for the Buffalo Bills and merchandise it, do a press release, get a billboard and make it big. So all of the fans of the Buffalo Bills that were mad at this player would rally together with us, buy the t-shirts, watch the video and I could profit. That was the plan and it worked. A huge billboard on, on the uh, 190 downtown Buffalo with these shirts saying Willis is trash. A website, willisistrash.com and cha-ching. People are going to watch the video of us capturing this football player and tying him up and wrapping around him and wearing these shirts, willisistrash.com, where you could buy your Willis is Trash shirt. And when I think back of the entire Dose Storm Records and that, I don't understand what problem we were solving. We, we weren't. It was a more of an artistic endeavor and it had no foundation it had no foundation it was guys really on a paper chase and really following what was going on in hip-hop and that's around the time, like I said, like I, my, I come back to the United States and my basketball career is seemingly over and I was just in a bad place. You could have told me to do anything for money and I would have did it. So when you don't have a, a strong foundation in a why, whatever you're doing is ultimately at some point going to crumble. And that's exactly what happened with this campaign and with this record label. It had no why. It was young guys rapping just to rap and me, myself, trying to live out these raps. And when you have that, that's an appetite for destruction. This is why I say the origin story is so vital to when you're starting out, we'll say YouTube and we'll say your entrepreneurial journey. 
reason being is because you have to start with your why. If I started and I broke down those strong records for my why, I would have never invested any money into that because my why would have never been strong enough to support what we were doing. Because the why was just for fame and the why was just for money. And just to do it, to be cool. It had no solid why. And it was not a problem that we were solving. And when you're starting with this origin story, right? And you're going to your findings, which is part two, you know, your journey of findings, that's part two of the hero story framework. When you start with the origin story, you already will know what your makeup is. You'll understand whether you have integrity, whether you integrity and morals were instilled in you, so you won't do anything for money. You will understand these things right from part one of the hero story framework. And again, that's why it's so important because start with solving a problem more or less start with solving your own problem and then help people get to where you're at faster because you solved your own problem and if you do that and you start with the origin story then you go to part two the journey of your findings right or findings through your journey. Go through that. It'll all start making sense because you can never lose when you're solving a problem. And that's what the world is made up of. Great business is made up of solving problems. So take that for today and I'll finish right there. So it is 2.30 p.m. And this shit is getting comical, right? Um, because you're never as bad as they say you are. And you're never as good as they say you are. So... I just got another accelerator rejection from Antler. And, and, and the thing is, like, I really, I take this personal because I, I know all dreams is not that bad. And then they always blame it on the selection process is highly competitive. Who gives, you know, whatever. Unfortunately, we have decided not to proceed. That's all you really need to see. But again, I know that I'm never as bad as they say I am. Tech stars, Antler, Black Ambition, BKXL, Startup Chili. Okay, we'll round that at five, but it's more, right? But then everybody that's telling me, yo, this is... This is a $100 million company. 
could be a hundred million dollar company. I never let that go to my head either. Okay? It's somewhere in the middle. Always remember that. You know. And that's why somebody yesterday asked me, they said, um, what feedback are you getting? I'm like, yo, the Star Wars is like super, super secretive. They don't say shit. They don't say they don't try to help you out. Like, not at all. Like, and then I'm like, and I and I said, well, yeah, I would love to hear what feedback. And then I'm like, no, I don't. I don't even really care. No matter what, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing, doing what I believe in. You know, like, I'm telling you, like, I believe I'm going to be on the right side of history, plain and simple. It says you've, you, you've been a founder of some other things, right? So you have startup experience, right? Start, yeah, but not technology. Just, you so know, yeah, other, yeah, other businesses. Four startups of some sort, uh, yeah. but, but not tech, tech, tech yeah, stuff. Not, yeah, not tech stuff. Uh, tell me about those startup experiences. What what were they? Just what what's the nature of them? Okay, so the first company that I started was an independent music company. Uh, I started that when I when I after I finished playing pro basketball uh, in two thousand and five. Then I started like a, a, a production a production company, a video production company slash advertising company, selling advertisement, producing producing TV shows locally in the Western New York area. Um, and then I built a, a retail store out of a container and we put that downtown in Atlanta. So we ran that and we, we actually sold that in two years. And then I uh, started a box truck company. All right. All right. So that's helpful. So you've got a, did you sell any of these companies to anybody? Yeah. The, the, re, yeah, the retail store I did. So I did sell. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, so we would call that an exit. So you you were paid for your business. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. All right. Step, let me see if I make this smaller. And this is per agreement of this meeting, all right, or a future meeting. So what I first asked you was, tell me about your customer discovery experience. Have you ever had a hypothesis? Have you ever tested something against something? And I, I first said no. And then I said, there's no way you'd be sitting here without knowing something about this business space but you may not have done it formally. So I'm judging on the formal part, not on whether you did it, okay? So I rated that as a two, on a, this is a five point scale, all right? I don't know exactly what I want to do right now. Uh, I'm trying to funnel uh, this people to give me their email address. Yes. So I can give them something for free, like a PDF or a presentation. Yep. What's, yep. How can I do that right now with a link? Because while while I'm working on while I'm working on the website or whatever. Go to marketing on the left hand side. Okay. And then scroll down to funnels. Okay. And then um, select a new funnel. Get started. Okay. And then select the freebie funnel. That one. This one. Yep. And then you're going to name it like free PDF or whatever it is that you want to name it. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's that's what I needed. I appreciate that. You're welcome. So let me get back. Um, they should reach out to you. OK, I will uh, create this ticket right now. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Diana. You're welcome. Hassan. Right. Have a good rest of your day. OK, right. you too. Later. Great. Just filming to get us some content.